Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine if a function is linear. And basically, when we're determining if a function is linear, you could, one, graph it and see if it makes a line. Or there's a couple different things we can do to, when just observing a function, to determine if it's a function or not. So basically, um, the to determine it, if it's a linear function, is, is it has to be in a certain format. And that format in function notation is mx plus b. But you might be more familiar with the equation format or the x or xy format, which is y equal mx plus b. Now again, basically the difference between the equation and the function is basically going to be the f of x and the y, which just represent our output values. So we've talked about that a lot with the functions. You know, it's just basically replacing y with f of x. But you can see that the main ingredients, the main stuff we're looking into is determining, do we have an m and do we have a b? Because remember, if we're going to graph a line, we need to know what the slope is, and we need to know what the y-intercept is. So if we can't determine the slope and the y-intercept in the form mx plus b for these equations, it's not going to be linear. So let's look at the first example. Um, actually, what we let's go ahead and look at the first example here, and then go ahead and label it. So you can see in my first example, I have x minus 2. And a lot of you might say, well, where's our m, right? Well, remember, if we don't have a coefficient, we can always think of our coefficient as 1. So in this case, you can see my coefficient is going to be my m. So therefore, now, basically, all I'm going to do is label m equals 1 and b equals negative 2. Okay? So, and it is in slope intercept form. So we would write linear. OK, in the next example, I have f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 3. x squared it has nothing to do in either of these, right? There's no x squared. So I don't even need to figure anything not linear. Also, the other way to look at this is you have two variables, right? You have x squared and x. We don't graph a line with x squared and x, so that's not going to work. The next one, we have x, f of x equals 3 minus 4 fifths x. Well, in this case, um, it looks similar to what we're looking for, but the, it's not really exactly right. Now remember, if I was going uh, to say 5 minus 2, that's the same thing as saying negative 2 plus 5. So I can rearrange these as long as I keep the signs the same. So when I go ahead and rearrange this, what I obtain is f of x equals negative 4 fifths x plus 3. So just make sure that the 3 is positive still, and the, neg and the 4 fifths is still negative. Now you can see that, hey, I have an m. m is negative 4 fifths, and b is equal to 3. So my slope is negative 4 fifths, and my y-intercept is 3. So therefore, it is a linear function. The next one I have f of x equals this weird line. If you know it, it's an absolute value symbol. Absolute value of x plus 7 minus 2. Well, I didn't say anything about absolute values when I was talking about something's linear or not. So I'm starting to throw in some random stuff here. That's not linear. It needs to be in the form mx plus b. For the next one, I have f of x equals 7. Now, this one gets a lot of students because you say, well, there's no x. So how can this be in linear form? Well, <laughs> it can be if we rewrite it with 0 as the coefficient, it would look something like this f of x equals 0x plus 7. Because what 0 times x? It's 0. What's 0 plus 7? Seven? 7, right? However, the, lot, the f of x equals 7, if you were to graph that, that does produce a line. It actually produces, um, it actually is going to produce a horizontal, um, a horizontal line. So it actually is a linear function, where m equals 0 and b equals 7. So it's linear. And the last one is f of x equals x. And you might say, well, all right, there's no number. But again, think of 1 and 0. So you, hopefully you see this and you say, oh, OK, 1, that can be 1. But what about my y-intercept? Well, again, x plus what equals x? 0. So now I can say that m equals 1 and b equals 0. So therefore, that is also linear. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine if a function is linear or not. Thanks.